This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Showcase back at you. Game two. McDonough against Mount St. Joe. The ball rolls. The foot to start off and the Gales get it back. McDonough at four and three. The weather's just going with injuries so far. And yet yeah, they've been upset by St. Paul's and Franklin. Uh, the referee's getting together. They're trying to see which way the ball went. Mount St. Joe's a regular four and one. Had the close game against Pilate and Lowell on Friday and was able to take care of business there. Their only defeat was at the Charm City Challenge against Damatha. We should go belt for. And the calls and chain, McDonough has it. Swenson will inbound. Back over. That's a three from Cooper. And he starts the show right with a three. These two teams have met the postseason over the last. Season. I mean, the Mount St. Joe's winning those affairs at their building. That's a floater. That one spins out. Or back the other way. Cooper pulls up again. Off the glass this time. No good. Offensive rebound. Ah, didn't get the finish there with Sutton. Foul four with it. Throwing more to point. One tipped and missed. Again, a turnover. Crawley. Swing it back one more time. Shot clock at 14. Inside, that one misses all the ground. That one in the air, they got a Mount St. Joe's bounce. Shot clock. That's 26 is crawling. Has at the top of the key. Take a roll action. That's a pull up. That hit. Strong car. One point lead here for the Eagles, which has a big week ahead of them this game, and then later on in the week, they go down to, to Gonzaga in DC with the Gonzaga Classic. It's a drive inside, and a foul is called. Phillips will inbound the first team foul against the Gales. The first time with us seeing Mount St. Joe's since the BCL. Semi-finals last year against Goretti. <laughs> Almost lost the ball there. Back like over, Stenson, shoot, set. That one did not go. Crowley brings it up here. Off the screen, back in the corner. That's going inside. three from Crowley. That one tipped and missed. Grabs a rebound at Phillips and he brings it down the court. Over to Cooper. Almost they lost it. But still kept it. Swiston, the freshman, shoots it and it rattles not in. It tipped and missed. Foul four. Hamlin. And a foul is called. Two shots coming up. Here for the sophomore. I did, but I don't know why I did. A little less than three minutes into this one. Abinado Moyo Court. Hey, 
Shocking shot from Hamlin. He missed them both. Rebound. In the hands of Curtis. Swenson. Shot clock at 15. Inside, swings it. Crowley picks it off. Back the other way. And Crowley shooting two. The junior point guard. Played huge dividends for Mount St. Joe's the last two seasons. Jordan and Lanchy. First shot, no good. The free throw line, not kind to the Gales so far. They've missed their first three at it. Second shot here to tie this game up and does. We are dead even at three. the ball, and that's his second team foul. Back. Cooper brings it up here. Swings it back. Looking to drive. And had a lot of gales in the way and a turnover because of it. Crowley. St. Joe's in that dark uniform, so you can see that white and purple. Got all black on tonight here at McDonough. It's a three and hit. Got four specialty, and he gives the Gales a three point lead. Over. It's a drive inside. Two-shot foul from here for McDonough. Second set the line, shooting two. First shot, no good. No good. Second shot here at the line. That one does go. That's the lead to two. Six four game. And for the visiting Gales, up two. Finally, what about four? Over the bell four again. Side. Hook shot. Goes in. Nice at the name of the car again. Eight four game. Sykes, the senior, looking like he's going to come in. From Mount St. Joe's short. That's a drive. Nice kick under. Pull up jump. And it spins out there for both. Comes the Gale. Big City. A nice way to keep the ball in bounds. Reversal, no good. And a foul is called. And two shots coming here for the, for the Eagles again. First shot, in there. Swanson, huge dividends here as the freshman. Again, McDonough in the MIA A Conference Black Division. Had that non-conference game against Mount Carmel Friday night. Pulled it out by a point. Second shot goes in. Two forty-six left here in the first half. First quarter, excuse me. Two point lead. 
Going for Mount St. Joe's, right? In the top five. And the ball was up off the court. That ball, but that's a travel. There on Steins. The ball going back to the Eagles. They can tie it up with a two. Take the lead with a three. it back to Billups. Billups drives to the hoop. He gets the foul call again. So Fox to the Eagles drawing the foul calls, but they got to hit the free throws before they take advantage of it. So my God, first matchup with a three ball was flying between Calvin Hall and Boys Latin in this one. A very testy, tight game here so far. Second shot in there. We're tied at eight here at McDonough. Crowley from deep. Crowley missed. And here comes the Eagles. Phillips swings it back. Cooper. Side, no good. And Sykes with the rebound. Goes up down to Steins, back over to Balfour, and then down to Crawford. from Balfour, hits it! We got a lot stronger, and George Washington will benefit from his play next year in our nation's capital. That's a three, Phillips hits! Now we're going back and forth, 10 even at 11. As the first quarter winds down, 105 left in it. Only swings it, Balfour. Now four inside, got rid of it, Crawley floats it up, it spins out on him, rebound over to Cooper, bang over to Phillips, Phillips tries, offensive foul of Crawley, 13 foul against the Eagles. Brings it up. Down to 40 seconds there left in the first quarter. Very entertaining game here between these two. They kind of build up a rivalry. All conference out of that three there from Steins and a foul against Mount St. Joe's. That's a 16 foul. And McDonald will be benefiting from a lot of free throw shooting, you think, in the second quarter. Seconds here left. Mount St. Joe's got it back. Hamlin was trying to hook shot, he didn't get it. Sykes back to Crawley, and he trains the three down. 14 11, shot clock is off. McDonough can tie with a three to end the corner if they like. Cooper against Crawley. For three. Tipped and miss. Hamlin, two, one, signs. And out there, almost at the buzzer. After one here in our second game of the DMV High School Basketball Showcase, the road team, Mount St. Joe's, up 14 11, second quarter coming up. Second quarter underway here, Mount St. Joe's with a three point lead here. And Orange Mills. Yes, McDonough, what a matchup we have. This is a big game for both teams. That one tipped and missed. Hamlin with the rebound and a foul. We're going to pick it up on the inbound. Dan Spaxinoza on the inbound. in the game for McDonough. Wide open as foul four. He can hit that. 
Captain missed there. Here comes Swanson. He swings it over to Robinson. Robinson got it out of there. And then he got picked off by Crowley. Crowley pass inside. Nice pass. Reverso did not go in there. For Hamlin that time. Swings it. Swanson back over. Cooper got blocked. 16 foul against Mount St. Joe's. Got to have five himself. A little less than a minute into this second quarter. Swanson fakes it, pulls up, not there. Crawley gets the rebound here for the Gales. Sonoza, bell four. Nice swing back, but lost it. Out of bounds. Sonoza was not ready for that pass. Three point game still. No team has scored yet in the quarter. Billups. Inside Cooper. No good. Snatch the rebound back. Curtin fought hard. The 17 foul against Mount St. Joe's. The 1 1. 1 1. 1 1. 1 1. The one and one in effect here for the Eagles. shot in there. To be back up here in January for the public private girls action here at McDonough. We'll probably be mostly here at Gym 1. We can't wait for it here in January. Add up for you here on DS10. 14, 13 lead right now here for the Gales. They're up one. That's about four. Brings it up here. Brings it over. Nine. Bell four back in the corner. Pulls up and hits. 16-13. Timeout by Coach Jordan and the Eagles. Down three here so far in this one. This one's been a tightly paced game. And a game where the Eagles definitely are four and three. Want to get some momentum before they go down to Gonzaga and play this weekend. And Mount St. Joe's keep momentum up. Like I say, we'll see the Gales again here this month against Calvert Hall and that DMV Sunday. Catholic series. Can't wait to see them there and get the Eagles sometime here. Next month, you just never know. We will though, definitely. See the Eagles in February. And they're down at UMBC, the big East Coast bump. Boy, it's gonna be huge. We'll talk about that when that gets closer. I'm telling you, I can't wait to call the games down there at UNBC. Right now, though. McDonough's ball down three. Try to get some better offense here. Robinson He's looking to go inside. Phillips has it instead. Off the screen. Pulls up. And did not go. Sykes with the rebound. Gives it up to Belfort. And a foul. 16 foul against the Eagles. One more. They put Mount St. Joe's in the one and one. The Eagles is already enjoying the one and one. Bonus here in the second. As an old guy, battles the ball. Bynes. Bynes made a good move, Bynes back. Back 
over here to Balfour. Swings it. Stein pulls up now. Tipped and missed. Whoa! That one almost was friendly fire. They hung away. The Eagles able to hold. Phillips drives to the hoop and a layup. Twinkles in. One point game. Foul four. Spins out on it. Rebound over to Phillips. Coming up the court. And a foul. See if it's an act of shooting. Don't give them two. And they will. Say the one and one. It's the first. We're tied at 16. Very entertaining matchup here. Between two of the teams expect to be on top in the MIAA conference this year. Second shot goes in. So the Eagles up one. over to McDonough and join a one point lead. Another Otto Memorial Court. Passed it up. Phillips inside. Shot clock winding down at 11. Working the baseline. Puts it up. And Bill out with a power call. And Billups comes to the line to shoot two. First shot in there. Lead up to two. Kiss off the back. One of two. Two point lead here for the Eagles. It's near the halfway point of the second quarter. Now four. That's space again. Inside this time to Hamlet. Hamlet passes it back out. Swings it over again. the Eagles. Inside. No good. Out of bounds and McDonough keeps it. Pull up. Got it. Nice play there. Eagles biggest lead right now at four. And they have somehow wrestled down the gales and made this more of their type of pace. Ball back to McDonough. Three thirty here left in this one. Second in the Inside. Oh, almost went down. So Dan, Dennis Sutton, the sophomore, he's shooting two at the line to try to increase this lead. First shot. No good. Second shot. In there. One of two, and that increases the lead to five. Oh, 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 oh,
in there, back over, Steins. Belfour is looking for the, for the basketball. Ten on the shot clock. Swings back over to Crawley. Crawley inside. Crawley from deep. In and out. That numbers at the bell. But went inside anyway in a blocking foul. Phillips back in the line to shoot two. Gay trying to increase this lead. First shot in it. Eight up six. Got him. Twenty-three, sixteen here. from Mount St. Joe's. They've been off the board for a little while there. Lead to five. 219 left in the half. Phillips brings it up. Possession here. That fakes back. Robinson inside. 25-18 here for McDonough. Bonus in effect for Mount St. Joe's. The double bonus is in effect for McDonough the rest of the way here in the half. First shot. In there. Second shot here. Hey! And that one. We got one more to go here. Third attempt. I say trifecta. It's them all. Lead down to four. And 10 mark left in the half. One ten second. Status. Off the screen. Nice swing. That's a three from Bella Henson. What a bucket there. 28 21. Two-shot foul coming up here for the Gales. 70 seconds left here in the half. Got a little wet spot in the court. It's been taping today. It's been raining. Important MIAA conference matchup here. First shot in there. Second shot. There it goes. 
28-23. One minute left in the half. Swings it. Phillips again. Hits again. Oh my. Eight point lead here for McDonough. Here in a quarter. Shot clock game five. About a five second difference between the two. Swanson. Cooper. Liverson. Oh, he just had nowhere to go. Crawley off the turnover. Takes it, pulls up. Steins, that is, pulls up now. McDonough controlled the second quarter and put up 20 points, and they're up 31 24. And that do you see what the BWG has for you? Second half of this one. Here at McDonough, I'll be back at this. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? St. Joe's there. Gale's down nine. Kino. No, he's not going to go for deep. Crawley can. Over. Side. Shot. Oh, and an out. Back the other way comes the Eagles. Inside. Blocked away. That was a uh, mountain of a move, but the trees was waiting for him for the game. Crawley coast to coast, swings it back, Steins for three, and that tipped and missed. Going back the other way, swings it, that's a three, and that hits the front of the rim, no good. Steins with the board. 33 24. 
20 to 10 swing in the point difference in the second quarter. First shot goes. <laughs> second shot here, no good. One of two. And the ball back to Eight point lead. Wins it back, fakes it. Cross over, dribble, pull up, bang! Evan Cooper was hanging with Mr. Cooper right there with that jumper. Ten point lead here for the Eagles. That's a drive. Knocked out, it's gonna stay. Oh no, Miles St. Jones gets it back. Miles gonna go to McDonough there. Gales keep it. Jumper, no good. Offensive rebound. Tina inside, and the foul is called, but it's on the floor. It's going to be the Eagles' 13 foul already. We're not even three minutes out of the third yet. Foul four. Looking inside. Oh, oh, he walked. Once you go up, you got to go in with it. And usually when you fake, both feet move. Turn of events, they call the jump ball, and Mount St. Joe's benefits again, and they keep the basket. As you say, interesting, folks. Ball four fakes it. Looking for somebody, got Crowley at the run to the ball. Back over to Steins, back over to Balfour. Crawley. And foul. Wow. It's going to be an offensive foul against Mount St. Joe's. First team foul on them. McDonough gets the ball back. Four, 43 here left in the third. Second team foul against Miles St. Oh, 
the Eagles here. By 13. Drive to the hoop. Crawley did not get the bounce. Phillips. Cooper pulls up. That one tipped and missed. Ooh, ooh, look out. Oh, they got it. Three on two pass break. Inside, Steins off the glass. Missed it high again. Wild pass. Cooper. Swings it. Over to Robinson. And over to Bella. 2.48 left in the third. Bella drives. Swings it back. That's a three. It's a timeout by St. Joe down by 16. Cooper with the big three. And all of a sudden here, the Gales in a spot they're not used to being in. You got to give. McDonough credit by far their best put together after the year. They had a, a, a home dinger there with Mark Camel over in Middle River. Next week, the next time you will see us here on DSN is next week for the D more for the DMV. DMV High School Basketball Showcase with Lake Clifton and Polly. Probably one of the biggest games in Baltimore City. We'll have that for you next week here on the Dice Running Network. What a match that's going to be next week. Polly nationally ranked. Hey Clifton, we get to see the first time of the combo of Blackwell and Gray. That should be last year. As Polly pulled away in the contest. This could be a preview of both teams playing each other in this in the city championship game. Polly was denied that opportunity last year. And that's what both teams did for the second straight time. They broke one states in their respective classes. We'll see the two state champions go at it next week here on DSF. Right now, Mount St. Joe's trying to find the offense. It's been not kind for them here in the third. Stein. Stolen away. Cooper, coast to coast, and a goal 10. Lead up to 18 now. Left here in the third, 18 point lead here for McDonald. Foul four. And a foul. He's shooting two. Hard off the back. Two shots coming up here, and the offense is gone cold here. The Gales have only scored one point in the quarter, and that was at the line. And Donna has definitely made this dead type of ball. Basketball going on in the DMV area. Back going on, baby. Inside! And it in. 45 26 and lead to 19. 
Rasinosa for three, no good. Cooper snatches the board. Up to Phillips. Cooper for three. Front end miss. Ball going back to Mount St. Joe's. Two points. No good. No field goals here for the Gales in the quarter. Foul is called. The 13 foul against the Gales. That's two shots. 52.4 here left in the third. Donna, coach and staff, and everybody here. The hospitality, that first one missed off the back there by Phillips. Got it. Pick and roll. Still no field goals yet for the Gales in the quarter, but that will be coming to the line to shoot two as well. <laughs> 20 point lead here for McDonough. Mr. Gale. Still having trouble. The line and Mr. First. Second shot here. In there. One of two. Three points been scored by me. Mount St. Joe's here in the quarter. Double, double. Back over to Cooper. Shot clock, game clock. About a nine second difference. Oh, box it on. 21 point lead as the ball. To the stands briefly. Shot clock is on. Boston throws. Trying to get that first field goal here in the third. That's a three. Huge bucket. Fashion over. six and only one made field goal. After three, it's a 21 point lead here at McDonald's. Fourth quarter coming. Fourth quarter underway here. Whoa, boy, that's a travel. He just lost all control there. McDonough up by 21 here over Mount St. Joe's. The, the Gales' first conference loss, the score holds up. This will be a battle of both divisions that's undefeated. As we was having, St. Francis rolled over Annapolis Area Christian in our okay. in the inter uh, inter conference matchup. So, Mount St. Joe's will be all alone. Them and John Carroll in the top spot in the red division. And in the BCL, so the hope matchups will be, like I said, coming down the pike starting next week. And the wet spot there, getting it off. Like serious? Yeah. Right, well. That's a drive, Crawley! Could not miss it. I see, he did miss it over the rainbow. Here comes Cooper! 
he was losing control, but he was fine in the process. Full team foul against the Gales, and coming up to the line to shoot two. All right, this weekend, DMP Hoops, of course, a big win for Paul Six, beating them after. That was a huge win. Sitwell Friends went in the quicker classic. The first shot did not go. St. Albert's down there. And St. Francis goes to Chicago and beats Simeon in the Chicago Elite Classic. As we mentioned a couple minutes ago in the quarter, they took care of Mac Missouri Christian handling. And we'll be seeing St. Francis again here at the end of the year and then also in the beginning of the year. Lead is 22 now for McDonough. See the Gales, they do have the firepower to come back. The basket's not been kind to them in this game. And as Phillips was turning around to get the rebound, both of his feet moved and he dropped. <laughs> Crawley. That one tipped and missed. Phillips with it. High ball for McDonough. Late in the match tournament. There's one and one there. Franklin, how about that? How about that upset one? That was a big win for the Indians. And then for County running up! And that one did not go. Nick Sinek. Side, no good. Right the other way. Swings it. Gray ball. Got it! New bucket there. Spasinosa. That cuts the lead down to 19, but it's a mountain right now. Time is running out on the Gales in this one. Put three. No good. Offensive rebound goes on. Finish Sutton with the finish. 21 point lead again. Sandwich. Spasinosa. Back over to Crawley. Back to Spasinosa. Here they are. Spent out. Went out of bounds. Should be going to McDonough as well. 554 left. Also news from National Hoops Festival, the Mantha. And Gonzaga both going down to Sunrise Christian out in Kansas. A lot of local thing. How about Rock Christian Academy? We, we did them last week against Thurgood Marshall. That's what we hit! That's a long distance two. The foot was on the line. 56-33. And... Down is a huge win. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. It's going to stay with Mount St. Joe's. Not used to seeing that Capasa shooting choppers in that range. Right now you need threes. Crawley in and out. And could not get the rebound. the charge. Stein for three. Got it. Time out. By McDonough. 451 left. It's a 20 point lead still. Not trying to have Mount St. Joe's getting any momentum in this game. And so much action area. Of course we was at the IABO Stars and Stripes salute on a matchup. How about that Emerson Newtown game? You know, BSN. Why don't home games? Like, I'm going to be in every home game. Why don't, like, Girls action, moving up back. No McDonald's, girls, team. Green fitness. 
Like I said, we'll be here in January for the Public versus Private Challenge. Our debut at that event. 4.51 left. As Currington will inbound. And for McDonald. And a foul will reach in 15 foul against the Gales. Since Joe catches a break there. That's a three from Steins. Hits it! And like we said before, as Mount St. Joe's takes time, this one's not quite over yet. The Gales have the firepower to make this thing interesting. Time out. It's a full one. Of course, always thank you for checking us out on the Die Sporting Network. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Die Sporting Net. Of course, on Facebook. Our official Facebook page, Die Sporting Network. And finally here, the Mothership on YouTube, Die Sporting Network. 850 plus subscribers strong. We thank you so much for checking us out. Back to game action here. And like we just said, Los St. Joe's has the firepower to make this thing interesting here. West spot. Yes. Back to game action. And a foul. 16 foul against the Gales. Both teams at 60. Next foul on each will put the other in the one and one. Bonus. Watch in the freshman guard will pass it. Phillips. He drives. Pull up. Uh, tip the miss. Pino the rebound over the Spasinosa. Inside. Nice. Off the glass and in. And it's a 15 point game, like we said. Hold the phone, it's not over just yet. Double team, back over. Cooper, trying to fight the resistance, he pulls up. And that one hits the back, oh no good. Foul against McDonough, it's gonna be the one and one. Let's go! Now which team can take advantage of the free throw line when we come here? First shot. In there. So cut the lead to 13. Second shot in there. Both of them drop down. Like I said, 13 point game. It ain't over yet. Phillips, back over. Out! It is staying with McDonough. Shot clock at 22, game clock at 328.
free throw will count. There was a foul by after the shot, and it's going to go back the other way. And Mount St. Joe's going to shoot the one and one. Well, even though McDonald wouldn't mind trading buckets, just do get this game down to 14 if Kong and him. Again, a wet spot. First shot in there. Second shot. Got them both. 59 45. Timeout by McDonough. Again, the lead to 14. I don't blame Coach Jordan. He's trying to make sure the momentum does not shift as boy it can. The shooters that the Gales have. This one is not over, as we said before. Now a full timeout. And this one, so. See how this one's gonna end out. Phillips the inbound. Got it to Cooper. Cooper pulls the leg. Smart. Trying to drill some time off the clock. Thirteen. Space. Big fella. Jacobs and then now. Puts it up. Hits it. A shot will count for the freshman Swanson. Huge bucket. Does that have closed the door? And sign up for Alice Dahl. Two shots coming here. 19 foul against McDonough. McDonough. Most of Poles was ranked pretty high. They're gonna. They have finally, in all likelihood, dropped Adam, but they're gonna get some reconsideration again. That one goes 15 point lead, still 2.40 left. I think time just, I don't think there's only enough time for Gales to fully pull this off. I, I think second shot goes. So we're going to see Mount St. Joe's coming up against Calvin Hall. In a couple, about 10 days from now, I think. 13 days after taping. Over. Can be huge. Swings it. Three ball for Spasinosa. That's it. And boy, I told you we're not done yet. The lead down to 11. Not done yet, folks. 
And it's going to be a 30 like second timeout. Like Gales is not going to be easy no. to this matchup, like you know that. Like, you can't Hold on to get their biggest win of the season. The Gales in this quarter has already scored 20 points. That's more points than they scored in the previous two quarters combined. Let's go back to game action. Big possession here for McDonough. They're trying to hold on to a double dizzy lead. Phillips, got to get it in. He does to Jacobs. Jacobs doubled. Phillips double. And a foul. One and one in effect. And this could prove to be a smart foul. Let's see what happens. First shot in there. Leave at the 12. Second shot. In there. Hope I'm going silky smooth down. Molly. Behind the back. Spats on Olsen from deep again. Hits again! Point lead, two on one left timeout, five out St. Joe's. Once again, hold the phone, hold the camera, hold something. It's a close game here at McDonough now. I also took this class early. I don't count you out. I don't. I don't count them out. <laughs> Somebody, I knew somebody had to get going. Good time to be the enemy. We needed that a little bit more in the third. Is that a good thing? No. Back to game action here. Stay with us, folks. I told you. We're not going to be over yet. <laughs> 201 left here in this one. Done again, trying to hold this game. Jacob. The shooters, Balfour is one of them. He's inbounding the ball. Spasinosa was open. Crawley is. He can hit it. That one tipped and miss. He traveled. The ball stays with the gals again on their end. Again, Crawley inbounds. Excuse me, again, Balfour. Throws it up. Back to Stevens. Four for three, hits it! It is a seven point game, a timeout again by the Gales, 143 left, 63 56. It ain't over. My goodness, it's just not over yet. What a game this has been. This has been a full timeout, by the way. As McDonough. Holding on, they was up by 22 at one point. And the lead has then cut to seven. And the home crowd here is a little stunned. Now the team needs that noise. What a, what a good second showcase game here. 
Polly on the ball on City End, and then not sure you got it January. Looking at the schedules, we'll let you know how that rolls before the year comes in. We'd like to get Franklin. Franklin Woodlawn is a Monday game. We'd like to get that. I hate to see some girls' action as well. You just never know. get this big win for them. Trying to get it inbounds and do. Jacobs doubled. Got out of the way. Back over. Hooper. Kept it back over to Jacobs. Nice defense. Timeout by McDonough on the line for Michael Jordan. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. 28 left on the game clock here at McDonough. And, whew, really looking tight. Those same goals, too tight, but it's all right. Not about that. Now we got a number. But they play the City Knights go down to Broadnack, winning 64 for 46 over the 4A runner up of a year ago with the Bruins. Knights looking good here, City trying to show their. One of the best teams in Baltimore City, beating Mervo in that magnificent game up on Hill and Road. The Mustangs had to rebound from the loss, went to Gilman and had an overtime game with the Great <laughs> Early test here between public and private schools. Now we're on private end. McDonough, can they hit the dagger here and, and send the Mount St. Joe's assistants away? Double team. The freshman hit a huge bucket early in the quarter. Shot clock at seven. Push it up. 19 foul against Mount St. Joe's. Both teams at nine. The next foul on each will put the other in the water. First shot in there. Lead to eight. What about the freshman here, Paul Swanson? Missed the second though. One of two. You gotta, you gotta play the three-point line right now. Bell four for three. That one tipped the miss with some contact. Here, balls down, reaching against Mount St. Joe's. That's the tough team foul. That's gonna put the one. That's gonna put the double bonus in effect. Here. Sixty-one seconds left. Donna trying to get one of the biggest home wins and. Seasons here. First shot here from Jacobs. Lead tonight. Second shot. Missed it. Again, a one or two situation. Still a three possession game. Ball four. He's shooting two. Ball four. Went inside instead of stepping back and pulling up for a three, and he's going to shoot two. First shot in there. Both teams at 10 fouls apiece. Both teams also foul on it. One on one. It's going to be the double bonus. He's the rest of the way. Second shot in there. Both shots drop. 65 58. 
One last time out by McDonough, I believe. Four point seven left. Time out. Oh, Lake Clifton, that's a 30 second time, excuse me. Lake Clifton and Polly next week here on the DMV High School Basketball Showcase here on the last running network. Lives up to this one. Oh boy, it's gonna be good. Like a Polly for a regular season game for the first time in two seasons for us. We got Polly. Last year was on the road a couple times. We can get him at home, we will. Oh, Let's go no. around, we can't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fifty-four point seven left, McDonough. Oh, no. Trying to oh, no. tie the bag up. Oh, no. I think Joe's keep looking back at the bag. That's a oh, no. Two shots coming. Free throw line. First shot here from Jacobs. Yes. Mr. Second. Back comes the other way. Eight point game. Back over. Inside the left goes in. Oh. Six point game. Finally a foul and then an elbow. So Phillips coming up to the line to shoot two. And if he hits, I say if he hits both of them. Six-point game. You, as always, I've always said this about Mount St. Joseph. Cannot count them out in any contest. Let's see when they're down. I've really only seen one time when the Gales are down a lot, and they just weren't able to overcome it. It was the Zaga last year. The, the Charles City Challenge, the second one. First shot for the game. Also, this quick down the team. No four and three. Had some tough losses. They count themselves out. Two teams that definitely you're going to see later on in the year. Polly for three. That one didn't go. Offensive rebound. Bell four. Spins out. Oh, wow. Double. And that might do it here. Blocked away. Clean block by. Stay with McDonough. And a foul. Well, if it feeds, it will be a wrap. How about McDonough? He's winning. Let him hear the night. Missed the first. All shooters in the game right now. As their schedule toughens up, they go down Gonzaga later on this week. Mike St. Joe's will have this their second defeat. They're going to join the four and two. We say so long to you for now in the Nazi Network. We'll be on West Coast Spring Lane for Lake Clifton and Polly. Till then, tomorrow's time, say so long. We'll see you down the road.
past the three. Tries with an athletic offensive rebound. Puts it back up and hits! My goodness, Marvin Price. Putting on a show. Harassing. Ten. Nine. Eight. Quickly has it. Seven. Six. Quickly for three. Has it! This is Guy Sporting Network. What, what, what. This is Guy Sporting Network. What, what, what.